What's up guys? It's our 15th video on HTML and CSS and I want to do I want to have this video just to talk a little bit about our three CSS selectors just so you guys aren't confused in later videos because after this video we are going to start building our web page. So, remember the first selector that we talked about which does not have a hashtag or a period in front of it. Now, if it doesn't have a hashtag or a period, it refers to everything on that page. So, remember like in our 7th video when we made an unordered list and an ordered list and it kept showing up with uh like bullets on the left hand side or, or numbers, you know, for every list item it'd go like one, two, three. Well, we set up a CSS attribute called list style, which is equal to none or which is none. So there's no bullets or whatever, one, two, three that shows up. So yeah, so this, when you see it without a hashtag or a period that refers to the whole page. Okay, so down here we created this. I think we created this in the last page. I just typed this up really quick. So here, the pound sign stands for div ID and the period stands for div class. So for bigger chunks of code, I recommend using the div ID tag right here, which is the pound sign. And for smaller chunks, like kind of like the span, if you just want, you know, a couple lines or maybe, you know, one word or a small sentence, I use the div class. So to source this back in our HTML page, we use uh, div ID and to source this, we use div class. So I'll go to our HTML page. And here's exactly what we did. So for our div ID, here's our pound sign, and we, we titled it text, and we closed it out right here. And within that, we want to do, we just want to change computer programming to a, I got a little piece of spit on the video. We, um, where we, okay, so we just wanted to change computer programming to a different color than we did for text. So in Word, for the CSS attribute on our CSS page, I titled Word, what did I title Word? Word is blue and text is red. So all this information right here is going to be red. And then in here, just the computer programming is going to be blue. Because we closed our div right here, and that's where it ends. So anything outside of our div class of Word is going to resort back to its parent CSS file, which is the div ID of text. This will make more sense in more videos to come. Just pause the video, look at it a little bit if, you, if it doesn't make sense. But everything should check out. And uh, so I'm going to go back to my browser now, and I'm going to refresh it, and that's what it looks like. So, okay, we have three types of selectors. These that don't refer to, that refer to the whole page right here, and uh, our, our div ID right here, which refers, we're, which we're going to use for bigger chunks of code and text, and then our div class, which is, uh, which we're going to use for smaller text, or whatever, smaller things, div class. I'm, i this is like the 20th time I've tried to make this video. I'm just going to put it live. Doesn't If it doesn't make sense, give me a question or a comment, and I'll be sure I'll get back to you. 